Do you guys ever wonder what happened to this great game we used to call Roblox? Well, I mean, we still call it Roblox, but what happened to the great community? What happened to the great games? I mean, we used to have games like fucking my sister on Roblox. The sister is also apparently a, a giant spider or like a like a dog. And you know how like when people are shy around the girl and they take a picture, they kind of do the hover hand over their uh, over their shoulder. Well, this dude's a little bit shy around his sister. He's doing the hover hand on her ass cheeks. He's, he's a little bit too shy to touch him. And you know what? Let's take a second to talk about the people on this game. Oh, oh, somebody okay. claims to know it already. That, that is, is impossible. Insane. Someone is way better at this than me. Oh, oh man, come on. <laughs> I get sexually harassed on a daily basis. I mean, all you have to do is look through Girl with a Big Heart 2's inbox. Just look at the messages I get. This is despicable. This guy's telling me he has a 17 inch penis. Wait a second. 17 inches actually took me off guard. I'm, I'm actually starting to blush a little bit. This is like some Romeo and Juliet type love story. You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna add this guy. I, I'll get back to you in a bit, honey. Okay, let me give you another example just to prove my point. Just the other day, a black man named Jackie, might I say, a handsome man. <laughs> He offered to draw a picture of my face. I mean, it turned out great, uh, until I realized it was actually a penis. So at this point, I was thinking, this guy's trying to get with me, and, um, I started blushing a little bit. Then he told me that it's my penis and that I have a small dick. Great! I get bullied again. And of course, you'll always have the little kids when they have nothing left to say in an argument. They'll just be like, hey, guess what? I fucked your mom. It's ridiculous because like, hey buddy, I did too. Like, I hit it first. You're late to the party. But little did any of you deformed crack babies know, there's somebody much worse lurking in the shadows. Somebody that hates all of us. Let me introduce you to Julius Cole. Roblox hater. And as soon as you visit Julius Cole Roblox haters channel, all you'll see is quality Roblox content as far as the eye can see. He's hitting you with some classics like, why can't everyone on Roblox just die? And all the users who play Roblox, I hope you get a disease or just die of cancer. Bitches, you fucking suck. I hate you. I hope Roblox players get cancer. <laughs> Y'all still playing Roblox, this is sad. Quit cyberbullying me. Please stop cyberbullying me, guys. I'm sorry to say this, guys, but there's two sides to every story. Our good friend Julius Cole, Roblox hater, he suffered from a stroke, and his voice box has never been the same. It's really put his rap career on hold. You can try to fucking be jazz shot like boom boom, that's how you gonna hit Like, click click when they say this real head niggas things, hussy, hun. As you can see, the situation is pretty bad here. I can hardly understand a thing he says. But if we know Julius Cole, Roblox hater for one thing, is his perseverance and determination. He continues his rap career. And we will continue to listen. And to the haters who don't believe him, here's visual proof of him having a stroke. <laughs> Julius Cole's fast rapping video number three. Okay, I can already tell this is gonna be a good one. Some of you may be asking, why is the paper so crumpled? It probably took him 10 minutes to write this and the paper is already completely trashed. And to that I say, there's a lot of passion going on with these fast rapping videos. You dumbasses would not understand this level of passion. Tell the telling niggas that I'm the one is real. When you niggas in my gun, you know what's time to pill. These Julius Coles gets a lot of hate on his channel because he likes to keep it real and tell people exactly what he's thinking. And he's got beef specifically with this one guy who used to work for Roblox and he died a few years ago. His name's Eric Castle. Uh, Julius, are you seriously wishing death upon many people? and making fun of the co-founder of Roblox and cancer all over a kid's game. Why, yes, I am. Hello, my name is Eric Castle, and now I have cancer. As I'm making this video now, I would like to say I hope all the fucking kids on Roblox get cancer, and I hope they die. That's exactly what I needed to hear, Eric. And this video got me thinking, how did Eric Castle really die? And luckily for us, Julius Cole has a video of the full analysis of Eric Castle's death. Oh, after a long, hard day of working, he needs a rest. Oh, he's having a dream. He's making love to beautiful women. He's making love to multiple beautiful women. It's really great. He, he's, he's ejaculating as we speak. 
He's he's kicking that bitch out the next morning. I can't believe it. I can't believe he would do that to her. After further investigation, I realize this is not the actual scientific analysis of Eric Castle's death. Eric Castle actually died of cancer a few years back, like he actually did. And this is one of Julius Cole's main points on his channel that he likes to make fun of. He likes to say, hey, Eric Castle, you died, ha <laughs> ha. And he gets a lot of comments back saying like, Fuck you, Julius Cole. <sighs> Fuck you. And there's a lot of other racist comments on there. It, you're really just giving in to what he wants, so don't be a dumbass. Just just stay on this channel. Keep your comments on my channel. And you won't even hate this guy in a couple seconds because he has something to win back all of your support. Video titled, Apology Video. Dear Roblox admins, moderators, I apologize for being funny and making fun of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the problem was Julius Coles was being a little bit too goddamn funny. I apologize for being funny and- Some of you may see him as a rapper, some of you may see him as a dancer, but I see him as a comedian. I hope everybody on Roblox die, especially the admins and moderators. <laughs> I'm still wishing death upon Roblox admins and moderators and every user on there. <laughs> And that was the most heartwarming thing I've seen all week. I, I, I mean, I know he still makes these videos like a couple times a week, but hey, he tried. Sometimes I think you just gotta look at Roblox, you gotta look at yourself, you gotta look at Roblox again, and you gotta say, I need to get off this website.